Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Experience Shakespeare. I'm Cassie Cash, that Shakespeare girl. And this week we're going to be learning how to play a card game that was popular in Elizabethan England and features three times by name in Shakespeare's plays. It's called Naughty. Welcome to another episode of Experience Shakespeare, the show where we take a little piece of Shakespeare's history that also appears in his plays and show you how you can do this activity at home to experience Shakespeare. Subscribe to this channel for even more Shakespeare every Saturday. In Elizabethan England, they didn't have electricity, they didn't have iPads or TV shows, they didn't sit down and binge watch Netflix. When they were celebrating things like holidays or they were getting together with their friends after work, they would go to the theater, they would often perform theater at home in their houses and they would play games like card games. The card game I'm going to show you today is called Naughty, N-O-D-D-Y. It appears at least three times in Shakespeare's plays. All three times I was able to find the word naughty used in Shakespeare's plays come from two gentlemen of Verona. The first is in Act 1 when Proteus says, Nod, I, why that's naughty. The second is also Proteus. Later in that same scene, he says, And that set together is naughty. Lastly is the character Speed, again from Two Gentlemen of Verona, and this same scene where they appear to be punning on the card game and the words definition as fool when he says, Mary, sir, the letter very orderly, having nothing but the word naughty for my pains. These are all references to this particular card game. Now, it's also a word that means fool, but it refers to a kind of card game that was popular in England since 1589. It was played with a deck of cards. During Shakespeare's lifetime, the majority of playing cards that were imported to England came from France. But if you don't have a historically accurate 16th century French deck of playing cards, a perfectly brand new standard 52 card deck of playing cards will work just fine, and that's what we're gonna use for today's video. Okay, to start the game, you cut the cards to see who draws the lowest card. You have a six of diamonds, and then Elliot. Um, cut the cards and see which card you get. He got a queen of clubs. So the lowest card was a six of diamonds, therefore the six of diamonds goes to be dealer first. You deal five cards to each player, and the non-dealer split the deck into two stacks. You pick the top card of one of the stacks and turn it face up in the center of the table. Stack the remaining cards together and set the stack to the side. You will not use it for the rest of the game. The card that was laid face up represents the trump card or the trump suit for the duration of the game. Because this is a jack, this is known as the knave naughty. And for having dealt the knave naughty, Elliot gets two points and the dealer gets one. At the start of the game, you calculate the points that are in your hand. Those points get tallied in the notebook and then each player chooses two cards from their hand to put in the crib. The ace is one, the two counts for two, and it goes on up with the number cards counting the number that is shown on the card all the way up until 10. The face cards will count for 10 each. And the ace is always a low card. When you're playing the game, there are two different ways to score. The first is by adding up what's in your hand at the beginning of the round. The second way is through the cards that you play during the game. So when you're counting up the number of cards in your hand, you're looking at the value that you're given. So if you're holding a king and a five of hearts, you're looking at a card value of 15. There are certain numbers that count for points in the game naughty. So if the cards you're holding can add up to 15, 25, or 31, you get points for that. You also get points for holding pairs, sequences, runs of three, runs of four, and runs of five or more. I know that's a lot to remember the first time you've been introduced to this game, so you can either pause the video and write down these instructions or sign up for that Shakespeare Girl newsletter for a free ebook that's got a guide and instructions, including the scoring combinations. Find the link for that below this video. <laughs> Those points 
that are in the crib will count for the dealer and they get to count the start card in with it. So at the end of the round, the dealer will get the points in the crib as bonus points for the round. In the first round, the non-dealing team gets three points as kind of compassion points for not having the crib in the first round. All subsequent rounds will not include a compassionate level of points. Non-dealing team goes first, and you try to play a card that can form points with what's showing on the deck. Mm. So Elliot has played the nine, which brings the total showing points on the board to 19. He doesn't get any points for that, but he does get to play. Tim played the nine, which gives him two points for laying a pair. Okay. Elliot played a three, which brings the total points on the board to 31. Elliot gets one point per card it took to make 31, which gives him four points for making 31. And he gets a bonus two points for scoring 31 in the middle of a round. So Elliot gets six points and Tim gets to unveil what is in the crib. And all of the points in the crib, remembering that he does get to count the original start card in with it, all of those points are his bonus points for the round. So I can go 25, and I double count it and go 25, so I can get a total of six points. Yes, so he walks away with six points from the crib, and Elliot got six points for scoring 31, and that is the end of round one. We put all the cards back into the deck, shuffle again, and play again. Play resumes in rounds like this until one player or team totals or exceeds 31 points. And that is how you play Nani. And remember that while ace 2 3 is a valid sequence, ace king queen in this game is not. A game is played up to 31 points over as many deals as it takes, and scores are recorded by either pegging them on a 31 hole naughty board or you can use a standard cribbage board, or you can do what we did in today's example and just write it down on a piece of notebook paper. That's it for this week here at That Shakespeare Girl. I'm Cassidy Cash, and I hope you learn something new about the Bard. If you like this video and want to find out more ways that you can experience Shakespeare, please hit like and subscribe to this channel because there will be more Shakespeare videos every Saturday. And remember that you can support the work we do here at That Shakespeare Girl by checking out our website, shopping in our shop, and buying products from our sponsors. All of that information can be found at castycash.com. I'll see you next week.